you got lettuce. You got lettuce. It's over. He got mm -hmm. what kind of lettuce? Romaine. Welcome back to another episode. We are we are leaving the grocery store right now. I don't know why I have one headphone in. That sounded really weird. But um, today's video is gonna be special, as you could tell. I'm with Chris. Uh, spent some time tarpon fishing in Key West. Filmed some Guggen Squad videos. Those will be up next week. We actually had Wes, the guy from who filmed the Never Stop Tour, uh, help us out with those. So it's gonna be they're gonna be sick videos. But I'm here. Took a plane ride over to Michigan to fish with my buddy Chris for a couple days because he says these smallmouth are biting, which I'm pretty excited about. We decided, you know, have some fun today. We we're actually gonna do a challenge. And I'll explain that. I'll explain that more once we get on the water. Is this wind gonna be okay for what we're doing? Yeah, it's fine. It's a west wind. It's fine. It's good. Oh, yeah. We're golden. We're golden. I like to hear that. We have made it out here. We are actually fishing Lake Michigan today. As you guys know, we're doing the food, grocery store food challenge. I think Rob and Mike might've done this video already, but this will be, we're gonna put a little twist to it. This is fresh lettuce. Oh, no. I'm gonna save the lettuce for the, for a little bit later. So the, the plan is we each picked three baits out from the store. I got turkey bacon, lettuce, and string cheese. You hooked up already over there? We're mostly fishing beds today. This is obviously, we are in Michigan right now during the perfect spawning time. Let these fish go right away, so there's no problems with that. But I'm gonna start off with string cheese. That is my bait of choice. So I've got kind of a big hook to a piece of string cheese to a tungsten weight. Tungsten allows you to feel a lot more allows you to be able to just kind of feel exactly where that bed is when you're making long casts. Uh, there'll be a link in my description below if you guys want to check out some cheap tungsten. Hopefully that link will help you guys out. And let's uh, let's get to fishing right now. All right, I'm using a drop shot. Oh, there goes my cheese. This might not be a good idea. Oh yeah. Well, look at that, it's Chris. Wow, that was a very poor cast. That was a very, oh wow, I lost my cheese already. And it fell off. The cheese fell off, so now I get to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, I've had enough of using that cheese, going to the real juice. So we just changed spots up a little bit. We had to, uh, went to a little new area of the lake. There was too many boats where we were. So let's see. Go for it. Are you eating it? I'm trying to get it like. A little bit. Oh! Do you have it? <laughs> I missed him. He ate the lettuce, dude. Lettuce is key. Lettuce is the best smallmouth bait ever made. Oh my gosh, dude. That might be the best bait ever. I don't know why they like lettuce so much. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not close enough to this thing at all. Oh, no. Oh, yes! my God. He ate the freaking lettuce. Hooked up. First one of the day. Little male ate the lettuce. Little male. Oh, yes. That is fish number one for me. Not a bad smallmouth at all. Gonna release this fish right away. More importantly though, I caught that fish on lettuce, the famous lettuce, they just hate it. Lake of the Woods, Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan. What do you think it is, expert? I don't know what it is, dude. There is something in lettuce that they just do not like. All right, I'm gonna leave that string cheese for the last bait. I'm gonna try and just get a huge lead here. Hey, are you taking a cast on a bed right now? This is so much fun, we're literally we went to the grocery store and we are. I'm using bacon. I'm freaking throwing bacon on a bed. You're gonna. Not, they're not about the gummy worm though. I've had multiple oh. good casts on beds. Oh. No dice. Oh, he's swimming towards it. You're kidding. Oh, 
Oh, he ate it. You're kidding. He I'm swam. He swam out to eat that, dude. Oh, yeah. No, they're so aggressive. Obviously not toward gummy worms, though. Bacon. Freaking bacon. Dude, I just got a small mouth on bacon. Lettuce, bacon. Dude, I'm not going to be able to catch one on cheese, though. Oh, he's, he just, is that the one I just caught? No. That's a big one. This one down here is yeah. a two-pounder. The one I have on, three-pounder. Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, I lost him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that is the fish I caught on bacon. Just a little drop shot hook. That fish swam off its bed to eat the bacon. It was all about getting that bacon just hooked up right. And how many times can I say bacon in a sentence? What'd you catch it on? Bacon. <laughs> you feeling a little worried right now? I'm very worried. They have not hit the gummy worm. I thought that would be the, he's the got safest a, He's bet. got a big sausage in his mouth right now. I'm Did about you? to. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't tell the, the, the viewers what the what the loser has to do. Did you tell did you, you didn't tell me either. Oh yeah, we did. Oh yeah, oh, we yeah, did. Yeah, I'm jumping in. <laughs> You're not yet. I already said I'm jumping in because <laughs> you only have to catch one more. Caught. You can't so get behind in these bed fish. They'll typically eat anything you throw on their bed. That was the point of the challenge, and I can't get one on a gummy worm. <laughs> so the first one to complete their slam doesn't have to jump in ice cold Lake Michigan. This is Lake Michigan. Mm, that's not over 60. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. Right here. Have you seen any fish? Fish? Gummy worm. No way. Gummy worm. That looks like a big one. It might be. My drag's really loose though. I know people would give me crap about having a drag loose. This might be a big fish. Was it really on the gummy worm? Yeah. It's a nice one. Oh, it just spit the gummy worm out. What? No, it's not nice. Oh, that was a worm. shad. It's like a three pounder. See the gummy worm on his hook? Oh, yeah. Nope, that was just cheese. You honestly have a chance of winning now. Oh, barely hooked. Gummy worm accomplished. Finally, something ate the gummy worm. Thank you, sir. Now yeah. I have hope. I'm surprised you actually caught that. See, good thing I told you. He was, he was almost trying to use a tri trick worm. A little cheater. <laughs> you have cheese. Dude, 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 it's it's not happening, dude. They don't like cheese. Smallmouth are not cheese eaters. I should try those tortillas now. You gotta do something because they do not want cheese. I only like the lettuce. Lettuce was by far the easiest. Oh my god. Yes! No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I gotta land this one. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Did he, eat he ate the cheese, swear to God. Please come off, please come off, please come off, please come off. I was just about to come down to come back. Oh, oh he barely hooked, he barely hooked, he barely hooked. No! No! I, t I touched him, no, I touched him. I mean, I touched him, dude. I touched him. <laughs> I literally had him like eight times. I did not land him. I should have just boat flipped him. He was like you a two pounder. Pound line. <laughs> it's, honestly, like, if I was in your position, I would say it wouldn't count. So if you, you, it's your choice. Oh, you're gonna admit that? Yeah. So it's your choice. Yeah, I'd like to keep going. I don't really want to lose. All right. So I guess that didn't count. God, I'm an idiot. If we run out of gas, we run out of gas. <laughs> What do you think? See one? I need to catch this bed fish. Oh. It's a 
you, girl. Hello. Good, how are you? What's that? Can I not stand on top? No, you cannot. Is it cheating to see the beds? Pardon me? Is it cheating to see the beds? Or is it just bad and illegal? Well, it's probably bad and illegal. Standing on the front is if you were to hit a wave or yeah. turn a little bit, it's yeah. more distance for you to smack your head onto something. Yeah. And it's just safe. It's just not safe in general. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I mean, gotcha. Well, I appreciate you telling me that. Yeah. I'm just. You guys got light jackets with you? Yeah. You guys catching anything? Oh, a few. Decent small mouth. Nothing too big. What part of Illinois are you guys from? Chicago area. It's about to be a zoo out here this weekend with fish, yes, man. Yes, it is. Was fish. it a lot busier this morning? Fish and people. Um, fish wise? Yeah, like fishermen. Oh, I wasn't out here this morning. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe we should. Maybe we should organize this boat. I don't know if it's not plugged in or anything, but that horn's not working now. Uh, does that count? <laughs> Thank you. I'll be back. Yep. yep. I think he's going to do. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in why he didn't give me my ID. <laughs> he gave me my ID back, so that means I'm good. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> is that a fish? Oh yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There you go. No, it's a stick. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. That fish was. That fish is done. So you're gonna stop you because you're up, sit, standing on top of the uh, on the bow while you're going at speed. Yeah. That makes sense. Why you shouldn't do that? Yeah, that's um, obvious. I'm gonna give you a warning for that. Um, I'm also giving you a warning for not having a audible distress signal with you on this vessel. But I'm also gonna write you a, a civil citation for not having a registration on board. Gotcha. It's a simple online ticket you pay. You don't have to show up for court. Cool. And the writing on the, the bow writing is what they call it. That's a misdemeanor ticket. You show up in court. If you're not from around here, I'm not gonna make you come back up here for a court date. Yeah. That's not. So, it's a simple registration, or not being on the vessel, contact, report, the number is right down here. All right. Okay. You can contact them, call them, like, this is the ticket. Um, got it here. They might ask you this number. I'm not sure how they track you down, but just give them a call, tell them what's going on. They'll be ready to be paid tomorrow. Okay. Um, at the soonest. Uh, yeah. If you have any more questions, call the court. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys, stay safe. Thank you. The ticket is for, I'm pretty positive I have my registration in my boat somewhere, but I mean, after, especially after AP Bassin gets in the boat, the boat's just a mess. Look at the bottom of this boat. It's not that big a boat and two people, all this filming equipment. I got a pack to live out of here for three weeks, so my registration is somewhere, it's probably somewhere in here buried, but I couldn't find it. So I just told them that I probably was in the boat. The boat's registered, like it's, it's not just an unregistered boat, but did not have my documentation. How so, much does it take it for? I haven't even looked yet. I probably don't even want to look. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't let it slide. He was so nice. I was really hoping you got arrested, so then I got to pick you up in jail. That would have been awesome. Yeah, great vlog material right there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say uh, an amount. You're gonna call them, they'll give you like $500. He did give me a warning for not having a horn. Yeah, he was a nice guy. What was his name? Said he was gonna subscribe to us. Yeah, we did get, that's something that came out of it. I got a loyal subscriber. Guys in G. I haven't been stopped by Benny cops like on the water before, but you know, they're just doing their job. It's unlucky, but you gotta respect them. They're keeping our waterways safe, so that's what you gotta do. Huge shout out to Officer, uh, Officer Michigan Wait. guy. Nope, we got Officer. I tried to read it, I couldn't read it. He was a nice guy. He was very nice, respectful. Liked him a lot. Thanks for pulling Chris over and giving him a ticket. Good content. Hey, he did write a... <laughs> what did he say? He gave me a compliment. He wrote cooperative. Oh, he, he should have said uncooperative. <laughs> 20, Wild. 20, Needed to tase. 
it's been it's been a long day it's not like we came out here and just popped these fish right away like we have been looking we've been searching for fish on beds we've been searching for fish cruising we just can't can't make it happen out here today with the food but lettuce lettuce and bacon were definitely a plus string cheese not my best and chris has caught one on the gummy worm all right let's keep going there's no fish in here yo let me go out and get us some ice cream you want some ice cream? I'll buy you some ice cream for your troubles. I'll wear my chesty in there and record it all. Yeah, I'm sorry. How can I help you today? Hi, right, can I get uh, one cup of uh, vanilla with Reese's and a uh, medium concrete mixer with vanilla and brownie pieces? Uh, 68. Here we are, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, there he is. Oh my word. I gotta get this in. Gotta get this in. Gotta get this in. Gotta get this in. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta get this in. Please come off. I should have just won this. I lost the fish on the tortilla. Barely hooked. A piece of cheese! Oh my god. I love you. I, tortillas, man. I love you. I love you. If you and love it, let it go. Yes! How does that make you feel? Unsettled, especially with the ticket. Holy cow, dude! What a comeback you made, though. You made you made it I interesting. Have won. You made I it interesting. Have won because I just hooked one on a tortilla. I hooked a cheese one at the boat. Yeah, but we've honestly we've had a pretty good day for using these kind of lures. I'm not jumping in jeans. No, oh, you're no. going in your underwear. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Caught one on cheese, on bacon, and on lettuce today. Freaking smallmouth whisperer here with the food. I knocked out those two literally within the first 30 minutes and now it is five hours later that's how long it took us to complete all this it was good it was good good try bud thank you i appreciate your uh condolences here it means a lot you gonna say that too when i jump in the water and my nipples go rock hard it's so cold <laughs> this is so stupid i can't let these jeans get soaked because it's one of only two pair of pants i have here So cold! Oh my god! I'm freezing my ass off. I got a ticket. Thank you for watching. We will catch you up. Oh god, that was brutal. 